Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a second method for creating a pause menu for your game. Um, instead of in the first method where what we did was individually pause all of the um, important objects in our room by having them skip their step event when our pause object is active, um, which allowed us to, you know, uh, keep our game in view while overlaying a pause menu. What we're going to do this time is deactivate everything in the room and draw a fresh pause menu on top of it. It means we won't be able to see anything anymore because the, every object in a room will be deactivated, which means it won't be rendering, won't be doing anything anymore, it will be completely paused and essentially won't even exist until you come back out of the, the pause menu. Either one of these methods is totally viable, and which one you decide to use really just comes down to you and your game. And I'm sure there's also plenty of methods out there that uh, that I haven't talked about, and maybe you can come up with something on your own that's way better for your game than either of these two. But either way, let's get in there with this one. So we're going to start out very similar to how we did before. We're going to create an object to handle our pausing called obj underscore pause. We're going to add the create event, and instead this time of creating a global variable, um, this system only really requires a local variable, so I'm going to say pause equals zero. We don't need uh, a global variable in this case. Uh, the next event I'm going to add is actually the key press, uh, where is others, escape. So we're going to have an event for pressing the escape key. Now the code we're going to put in here is actually really, really simple, and I'll kind of explain a bit how you can expand it um, for making the pause menu more complex, but ba the basics of it are really straightforward. We're going to say if not, with the exclamation mark, pause bracket, so if pause is zero basically, then set pause to one, and instance deactivate underscore all. And then it's very important here that we put true in the brackets. So what that's going to do is it's going to turn off every single object in your room. Um, and what true does is the basically there's a flag that goes along with this called not mean. You can see that down there. Um, if you set that to false, it'll deactivate every object, including itself, including this object pause. But we want to keep pause as the only object we have left which is going to be able to handle our pause menu and actually get our objects back. So we put true in here, which means that it deactivates everything except itself. And then else, so if pause does equal one, then what we want to do is unpause the game. Say pause equals zero. Instance activate all. Now what you want to do in here is if you want to create any new objects that you want to use in your pause menu, if you want to do something complicated with like arrows moving around or some some sort of extra complex thing in your pause menu, then you want to create those objects or activate them or however you're handling it immediately after this. So after you've deactivated all of those instances, you can activate or create or whatever all of the um, the instances that you actually want to use while your game is paused. And the same goes for down here, uh, when you unpause the game after activating all the instances, um, you have to make sure that you deactivate all of the stuff for your pause menu. So that's how you would expand it from there. So that'll work now, but the thing is if we if we run that now, well if we plunk obj pause into the room, like that. Oh, in fact, what I'm going to do is make this object uh, persistent. And I'm going to plunk it in the initialize room just so that we have it in all of our rooms. Like so. Then we run the game. If I press escape now, it, it is pausing everything, but it's just deactivating everything, so we're just left with our background now. Because everything is, is paused and is no longer being rendered, you can see like things are being paused correctly and are where they left off when we when we paused the game and when we unpause it. So basically all we want to do now is whatever pause stuff, it'll vary obviously depending what kind of game you're making, but I'm just going to do really simply exactly what we did before with where I just create a black screen and overlay some text that just says game paused. Uh, so I'm going to say in the draw event if pause and then I'm just going to do some drawing stuff. So I'm going to say draw set 
fella C underscore black draw rectangle uh, not not uh, room width room height zero so I'm just drawing a rectangle that's the full size of our room right now you might only want to do that to your your view size instead of covering the whole room it's up to you depends uh, draw set line. not that you would necessarily be even doing this exact thing but you know if you just wanted to follow along F A center draw set because really anything I do here is whatever you want to do for your pause menu whatever you want to draw or whatever you want to have as your menu at this time but I'm just going to recreate what we had before. So it's all that color. C underscore white. Draw underscore text. Room width over two. Room width two. Uh, game paused. Draw set color. That's as simple as that. That's all we all we need. To, oh wait, hang on one sec. Room height over two. We wanted it in the in the center. That would have put it in a weird. I'm not even sure where that would have put it. But okay, that should now work. So hopefully, run the game now. I pause the game. You can see black screen. Game paused. Really, really basic, simple, but completely functional. Pauses the game. Shows me whatever stuff I want to render here. And then when we press escape again, we unpause simple as that hopefully you can see how easy that is to expand upon how like you know you could easily change the button you're pressing for pause um so play around with this and see what you can do see what kind of cool pause menu stuff you can come up with um very expandable system very useful very simple so i hope you enjoyed that and i'll catch you guys next time see you guys